You must be the Software Assurance Benefits Administrator to activate the Software Assurance Training Voucher or Planning Services Benefit through Microsoft's Volume Licensing Service Center or VLSC website located at the address shown. Sign in to VLSC using your Windows Live ID, then click the View Software Assurance Benefits link and select the benefit you wish to activate. Click on the licensing ID under which you wish to activate your SA benefit. To activate a benefit, click on the benefit name and follow the instructions in the subsequent screens. Once your voucher benefit is activated, the Benefits Administrator can create and assign vouchers by first clicking the View Software Assurance Benefits link in VLSC navigating to the Activated Benefits section and clicking on the desired benefit. For Training Vouchers, click on Create Training Vouchers. Three things are needed to create a training voucher. The name of the employee to receive training, the employee's corporate email address, and the length of the voucher which can range from one to five days. If the course length is unknown, it is best to select five days. If fewer than five days are needed, and if the agreement is still active, the remaining days will automatically go back into the customer's training voucher pool once the voucher has been paid to the training partner. Next, click Add Voucher, then Submit Voucher List. This creates and assigns the voucher. For planning service vouchers, under Benefit Summary, click on Packaged Services. Click Create a Package Service Voucher. Under Available Vouchers, click the button next to the package service type for which you wish to create a voucher. Select the number of days that your engagement will last from the options provided. Then assign an employee at your company who will be coordinating the planning service engagement. Enter the employee's last name, first name, and corporate email address in the fields provided. Click Confirm Voucher Assignment at the bottom of the page. On the next screen, review and confirm your voucher information, then click Assign Voucher. An email confirmation containing the training or planning services voucher details is automatically sent to the corporate email address entered at the time of voucher creation. This email will contain the voucher's expiration date as well as the name of the benefits administrator who created and assigned it. For training vouchers, the employee to receive training can research eligible technical courses and locate a training partner to schedule training by using the class locator link noted in the email confirmation. For planning services, the voucher assigned employee will provide the information to an approved planning service provider. If your company has not already chosen an approved planning service provider, you can research and locate one in your area by using the OSSD Package Services Provider directory located at the address shown. Keep in mind that created vouchers must be used before the voucher expiration date as noted in the confirmation email. Voucher expiration is 180 days from the date of creation. Voucher life extends up to the voucher's expiration date regardless of whether the company's agreement has expired. To reserve a software assurance training voucher for a customer, you must access the Voucher Validation and Redemption, or VVR, website located at the address shown and sign in using your Windows Live ID associated with your organization's Microsoft Partner Program account. A training voucher must be reserved before the end of the training session. This can be done retroactively up until the last day of the training session, but a training voucher cannot be reserved after the training session has been completed. Remember, you must reserve the voucher and complete the training before the voucher expiration date in order to be reimbursed. To reserve a voucher, click Training Voucher Administration, then click Validate Reserve Voucher and validate that the voucher is still active by entering the voucher number and the corporate email address for the person to whom the voucher was assigned when it was created. Then click the Validate Voucher button. If the voucher has expired, has already been used, or is reserved by another partner, an error message will appear. 
When reserving a training voucher, you must enter the course number for the course the employee wishes to take, then click Populate Course Details and verify the course information. Next, enter the training start and end dates. Typically, the number of days for the voucher is equal to the required number of days for the course number you enter. If the number of voucher days is less than the required course days, contact the customer and request another form of payment for the extra days. If, however, the voucher's days are more than the course length, the additional days will automatically be credited back to the customer once the voucher has been paid. Next, enter a cancel by date and be sure to inform the customer of your local cancellation policy. Next, click Reserve Voucher. Your customer will automatically be notified that the training voucher has been reserved. You'll also have the option to send an email confirmation to yourself or others, or view a printer-friendly version of the confirmed reservation. If you are using a custom course code when reserving training, in order to combine several already approved and eligible courses, you must enter the following information into the description pane of the comments field. The course numbers, the abbreviated course titles, and the modules that will be taught. Then click Request Approval. Your request will be approved or denied within three business days. To cancel a reserve voucher from the Training Voucher Administration page, click Voucher Activity Report and select the voucher. Then click Cancel Reservation. This will delete the voucher from VVR, placing it back in an assigned status and making it again eligible for future reservation. Please note that if you cancel a voucher and the customer's software assurance coverage expires, the voucher will still continue to be valid until its expiration date. Vouchers expire 180 days after their creation. After training is completed, vouchers must be redeemed in the VVR system. This can be completed on or after the last class day of training, as long as the voucher is redeemed before it expires. Voucher redemption and submission of a payment request must be completed within 60 days following the last day of training. To redeem, log in to the VVR website at the address shown using your Windows Live ID and click Redeem Vouchers. First, enter the voucher to be redeemed. If the person who took the course was different than the name indicated on the voucher, you must click the Modify Attendee Email for Selected Vouchers button. Enter the email address of the actual person who took the training and click Modify Attendee Email. Now click Redeem Selected Vouchers. A voucher redemption confirmation page will appear, of which a copy can be sent to Excel or emailed to yourself or another recipient. To verify the change in status of the voucher, go to Voucher Activity Report. By scrolling through the results in the display pane to the right, you see that the status of the voucher has been changed from Reserved to Redeemed. Remember, this step is required before a payment request can be created. Vouchers that have not been redeemed will not appear in the Software Assurance Voucher Benefit Tool, the online application you will use to submit payment requests. If you wish to view your training vouchers in VVR by their status in the Voucher Activity Report, click the drop-down menu to make your selection and then click OK. You can also use the Activity in Last field to filter and view your vouchers. Once you've redeemed vouchers in VVR, you are ready to create and submit a payment request to Microsoft using the Software Assurance Voucher Benefit Tool, or SAVB. If this is the first time you have invoiced Microsoft using the SAVB tool, your Global Administrator in the Microsoft Partner Network, or MPN, will need to register your organization and voucher program in the SAVB tool. To complete registration steps, your Global Administrator must go to the link shown. After registering in the tool, Microsoft will contact your organization to set up your payment profile. To create a payment request in SAVB, log in using the address shown with your Windows Live ID that is associated with your organization in MPN. 
From the home page, select Create Payment Request from the quick links available to the right. To identify the redeemed vouchers you wish to invoice, select the country, payment profile, the partner location, and the appropriate tax jurisdiction for the location. Then click Search. The search results will show all of your vouchers in redeemed status. Click Add to select the vouchers you wish to include in this payment request. If you need to view the details of your voucher, you may click on the Expand arrow or Expand All. Next, in the Tax Jurisdiction box, add the appropriate tax percentage for the location. It is your responsibility to enter the correct tax percentage. The tool will automatically calculate the total for the payment request. Depending on your location, you may be required to provide Microsoft with a copy of your company invoice. If Microsoft requires a soft copy of your invoice, you will see Attached Document. You can browse for your company invoice and attach it to the payment request. If Microsoft requires a hard copy of your invoice, the SAVB tool will prompt you to send your invoice to your regional service center. Please remember, the voucher information, tax, and totals included in your company invoice must match the information you entered in the online payment request. Next, be sure to input your own company invoice number in the field located in the Partner Information box. Lastly, Review your payment request for accuracy and completeness, then click Submit. If you wish, you may save the payment request for later submission or click Cancel to start over. Submitted payment requests will be processed and paid within 30 days of approval. After submitting, you will receive a payment request confirmation with a unique reference number. You may use this reference number later when searching submitted payment requests. Your SAVB homepage is the central location for tracking your voucher payment activity. In addition to creating a payment request, use the I Need To links to search vouchers by status or specific voucher number, search payment requests that have been submitted, manage your payment profile, or add or manage users of the tool. From the homepage, you can also receive notification of action items, view recent payment activity, and view the status of your submitted payment requests. Quick links are provided for quick access to resources, tools, and help. For questions regarding the SAVB tool, please contact your Regional Service Center for assistance. Thank you for watching.